we're now really beginning to understand what's going on inside the adolescent brain that is at the base of, of some of these behaviors we're seeing. And while it doesn't give us all the answers, it's still going to go through adolescence, understanding the rationale and the reasoning can help us do several things. As parents, it can give us a greater understanding and perhaps a bit more patience with some of the behaviors. But as teachers, there's a huge lesson here on how we can use what we're doing in classrooms to match what's going on in those brains and make it an, certainly an easier time for the kids and also an easier time for the parents and for the teachers as well. So an understanding of the human brain, how it learns, see, it's, it's been a black box. We have not known. We could tell you what went into it, we could tell you what came out of it, but what was going on in the brain as that child or adult was learning, we had no idea. You had to guess. With new brain imaging techniques and with tremendous advances in science, we're now really beginning to understand. We don't know it all. We still have a lot to learn. But we have a much better direction now, which is of particular interest to educators. We've been teaching brains without understanding how they're going to work. So what we have now is, is a whole new field. Now, neuroscience has been around for a while. Cognitive science has been around for a while. Educational research has been around for a while. Now we've got a melding of those because seldom in past history did neuroscientists talk to cognitive scientists, and certainly none of them talked to educators. Scientists pretty much talked to each other. All right. Now there's a tremendous amount of interest in, on the part of educators as to what the neuroscientists have found and the cognitive scientists have found. And so a blending of educational research, neuroscientific research, cognitive and psychology in a field that is called by various things mind, brain, and learning. I love the term neuroeducation.